Hello and welcome back. I'm officially one month into motherhood. Baby boy is four weeks and a few days old and we are going through a literal day in our life. This is a 24 hour vlog, actually a little bit more than 24 hours. I'm not gonna say that this is what a typical day looks like because every day is a little bit different right now. We have better days, we have worse days. We are first time parents, so we are learning so much every day and it's definitely going to show in this video. So we are starting dark and early at 5 o'clock in the morning. That light outside that just turned on is actually my neighbor's motion sensor light, not to be confused with daylight. So Faku's night shift was ending and mine was just beginning, and baby boy was having a hard time staying asleep, so I went ahead and just comforted him until he fell asleep on me, and once I saw that he was in a deeper sleep, I went ahead and tried to put him down in the bassinet. I'm doing this method where you tap their back or their bottom as they're asleep in your arms. Once they're knocked out, you can go ahead and put them in the bassinet, but you're going to put them on their side, kind of hold them up and then continue patting them on the back. Once you see that they're fully asleep like that, then you can slowly lay them on their back and then just make sure that they're good, that they're sleeping. And it's worked pretty well for me so far. So I was able to get a few hours of sleep after that, but he was starting to wake up around 8 a.m. Every time I wake up around the same time that he does, I just feel like, all right, it's go time, let's do this. Now that I wake up with all the energy, it's just the mindset I have. At this point, he is due for his morning feed. Faku always feeds him during his night shift, but this is his first feed of the official morning. And by morning, I mean anything past 4 a.m. Now, Honey is my other baby and she does not let me forget it. She is so loud in the morning, every morning, making sure that she gets fed. So when she is fed, I'll go ahead and feed my human baby and I am currently breastfeeding and pumping so that he can get my breast milk directly and from bottles. Right now my little method of waking him up in the morning has just been very slow and gentle. I feed him while he's still wrapped and then after a feed and a burp, I'll unwrap him so he can stretch. And I have been trying to be really good about massaging his little belly just to make sure that there's no gas bubbles that gets trapped in there. There was one day that he had so much gas and I didn't realize it until it was too late and he was in a lot of pain and crying and I couldn't figure out what was wrong and then I realized how hard his belly was and it freaked me out and it stressed me out. Finally, he got better, but I definitely learned my lesson from that day and I always try to get any gas out. And I definitely find this method to be very effective. So after he stretches and there's no more gas, I just like to talk to him, start our day with a face-to-face -face conversation, bond a little bit, and we are going in with the diaper change. Now just a note, some days I will do this before the feed if he's calm enough, but sometimes he wakes up so hungry that he really doesn't enjoy his diaper change, so I'll go ahead and just feed him and then change the diaper afterwards. And this particular day, I'm also changing his onesie. I won't do this every single day, but I will do it at least every two days just to make sure he's fresh and cozy. And then on the days that we bathe him, he'll go ahead and get two outfit changes. Obviously, there are also cases where he will spit up on his onesie or or his onesie will get dirty with poop or pee or something and of course we'll change his onesie i just think that if the onesie is clean and there's nothing on it then he can go another day wearing it so we actually sat down for another feed afterwards there are definitely times that i don't have to feed him so back to back but usually when he drinks his milk it's like now or never for him and he uses so much energy to drink his milk so it really gets him tired I always try to feed him as much as possible in one feed, but once he starts pushing me away, I know it's on to the next thing. He'll let me know when he's hungry again. So at this point, it's time for me to get myself ready for the day, kind of. I don't really get ready at this point. Getting ready just means brushing my teeth, literally. So he's happy, awake, calm. This is my moment to quickly brush my teeth, wash my face, put on my contacts, somewhat feel like a human obviously so that I just don't feel so yucky going throughout my day. Some days I won't put in my contacts, but it really does help me to feel like I somewhat got myself ready for the day. 
Also, by this point, I am so hungry. Food has been so hard for me to consistently eat on a regular basis, either because I'm occupied with the baby or I'm just tired. I'm extremely grateful for all of the meals we got throughout this month of postpartum. If you're watching this and you're not pregnant, the best thing you can do for someone who just had a baby is bring them food. I promise you, it is the biggest help. This morning, I just made myself a quick bowl of cereal. I know that it's not anything extravagant, but I also know that I'm gonna eat a little bit later, and this is just gonna help me get through this part of the morning. I also like to multitask, so I am quickly getting some dishes out of the dishwasher and then putting some dirty ones back in there. Of course, I have to check on my baby, make sure he's still happy to make sure that I can go ahead and start my pump session. I currently have such a love-hate relationship with pumping. It just drains me. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but pumping is so hard and it's so exhausting, especially being consistent with it. And unfortunately, like the past few days, I haven't been consistent with it, so I did notice a quick drop in my supply, which is also so stressful. You have to be consistent with it or else your supply will drop. And as someone who is strictly breastfeeding it is something that gives me a little bit of anxiety and so i have been thinking about other options every day i'll go ahead and give him his vitamin d supplement i'll either do this in the morning feed or if i forget because i'm too tired i'll do it in the next feed i am someone who is out of sight out of mind so i like to keep his little vitamin d supplement out so that i always see it and remember to give it to him by the way for that feed i did just give him the milk that i had just pumped normally my goal is to be able to store the milk that I pump, but he was becoming very hungry, so I had to cut my pumping session short and I just gave him whatever I had pumped. Afterwards, he was happy again and calm, so I set him down in the swing so that I could be able to clean our blankets that we have on the couch. This is a necessity for me every so often just to make sure that we are keeping things fresh and clean. Oh my gosh, the past few days, the weather has been so beautiful. You know that it's very hard to come by in South Florida. We always appreciate a good cold front. Now, he was very awake, so I went ahead and had some conversation with him. I love when I'm able to get some expression out of him. It is the cutest thing in the world. He's still not too, too expressive, but he is starting to become expressive, so it's really exciting. And I just have these moments sometimes where I just have to look at him, and I'm in awe because I cannot believe that he is mine. Like, I already forgot my entire pregnancy. <laughs> Having him feels like one day to the next, you know? After a little bit, Faku had made me some breakfast, so I was able to eat something substantial. I had changed my shirt because I filmed a little clip for my pregnancy progression video. That was the video before this one, if you want to see my baby bump growth. And we just spent some more time talking to him. The baby loves his dad's voice. It's the cutest thing in the world. He gets so excited. And it was time for another diaper change. At this point, he was getting a little bit sleepy. So Faku went ahead and wrapped him, made him a little bit more comfortable. And we both just chilled together on the couch. I did some stuff on the iPad that I literally already forgot what I was doing. <laughs> but the baby was definitely very comfortable on his dad. And these are slow moments together that we just really like having and we honestly need. I went ahead and put those blankets to dry. After this, I was starting to feel tired. So I definitely needed my power nap. I needed a break. So that's exactly what I did. I gave everyone their kisses and I went on to the bed and took my break. The baby also got some much needed sleep during this time. He was awake for a long time this morning. But this is where I say that we're still learning because a sleep window like this would be perfect for the nighttime, but it was too long in my opinion for the daytime. Ideally, his longer sleep stretches would be at night so that we can also sleep for longer. This is a routine that we're still working on. But once I woke up, he did too. And he went ahead and had his bottle. Actually making this video has taught me a lot about our routine. Even though in the beginning of the video I said there isn't really a routine because every day looks different, but there is some sort of rhythm to each day and this video just puts things into perspective for me. So I'm looking forward to making this video again once we are more established in a routine and maybe I can share some advice on how I got there. At this point, we had both eaten. I heated up some leftovers for us and we were able to get in a good solid meal. Faku went ahead and burped the baby. He's really good at this. Sometimes I'll feed him and just pass him to Faku and he'll burp him. 
During this time, I went ahead and pumped again. After my pump session would have been the perfect time to do some activity with him, some tummy time, some reading, but I ended up having this like emotional release and we ended up having the longest conversation on the couch. We both needed this. Like I keep saying, we are first time parents. There's so much that we're learning at this point. And this video was taken on a Monday. Both of us have very long weekends. For him, he's working the entire weekend, like day to night. And for me, I'm home with the baby. If I don't go to my parents' house, I am by myself with the baby, which means I just have to be on 100% of the time. So Mondays are a rest day for us. They are a chill day. We have each other and it's something that we really need. And I'm not sure if I was just really exhausted or if I'm going through any hormone changes at the moment or both, but I really had some things in my system that I needed to get out and that's what this time turned into. Obviously, I did not show myself crying, but I just want to say that if you're a new mom and you're feeling a bunch of feelings, you're not alone in that. This whole time is a huge adjustment and it can be very overwhelming and there's so many things that you feel like you want to just do right. And it's such a learning process, so you're not going to do everything right the first time. And maybe you'll even learn that there is no 100% right way to do certain things. So we can all have grace on ourselves. This is not an easy thing that we're doing. And it's okay to just take it one day at a time. Right here, we're trying to get the baby dressed, but this little onesie does not fit him. It is size newborn. But he is just a chunky baby so he ended up putting on this rolling stone sweater we made a quick trip to target we needed to get some things and it's funny because the things that we really needed were not even there so we got some things that we wanted <laughs> this was our first time going to the store with the baby currently leaving the house with the baby still does give me anxiety just because of all of the unknown things that could happen and by that i mostly just mean the baby crying and me not being able to calm him down it just stresses me out not being home in that situation and he actually did cry which is why i had to take him out of the seat he was just getting a little bit hungry again so i fed him in the car and we had planned a date night for ourselves so we went ahead and got some pizza it was such a beautiful night and we are setting up this was really exciting because we hadn't had any dedicated date nights for a long time to be honest even towards the end of pregnancy, I was just feeling super tired. I did not want to do anything. Clearly, I have the energy now to robot dance. <laughs> I always have the energy to robot dance though. But we were both really in a good mood this night. We really needed this quality time together. We did bring the baby out with us just to keep an eye on him. He was still awake. Thankfully, we have this swing that has a net over. We made sure he was double wrapped and covered in a blanket. So he was nice and cozy. And we set up our little date. Also, we got beer for this. This was my first time having an alcoholic beverage in almost a year, so that was really fun and funny. I definitely felt the beer in my system way sooner than I thought I would. It just goes to show how much time has passed. I think it's so important to have a partner that is dedicated to listening to you the same way you are to them and to understanding you the same way you are to them. To understand that you guys are in this together, that you are a team, baby or not, you are doing life together and life brings challenges. You don't want your relationship to be another challenge. You want it to be something that feels easy, something that feels like home, something that brings you peace and calms your nervous system. I feel so grateful that Faku and I have been so patient with each other during this time. We have been so sleep deprived and so tired but we always make it a point to meet each other where we're at with our best foot forward. If we ever have any differences, we share them with respect for each other. We talk about what we're feeling. We are gentle with our words and our actions. And honestly, there's nothing more that I wish for everyone who ever enters a relationship. Eventually, we came inside and the baby was fully asleep at this point. I was able to get a shower in, so I went ahead and did that. I felt like a brand new person. Faku took one after me and we ended up knocking out on the couch but the baby did wake up eventually so gave him a diaper change and a feed this is one of those moments where I changed his diaper before I feed him and he was not happy about it I didn't want to push the diaper change any further though because it had been a while since the last one so I wanted to make sure he was comfortable these night feeds are the more exhausting ones and obviously the goal is that he goes back to sleep right after he eats that doesn't always happen but for me to try to make that happen, I do have a method that I like to do. 
I'll go ahead and feed him most of the bottle, leaving usually just an ounce. And then after I burp him, I'll go ahead and get him as comfortable as possible. Here, I'm just rewrapping him and making sure he's nice and snug. I give him his pacifier. This just helps calm him down. Once he's all wrapped up, I'm going to go ahead and give him the rest of the bottle. My hope is always that the fuller he gets, the sleepier he gets. He did stay awake for a little while after he finished the bottle, but eventually he did go back to sleep around 2.30 in the morning. I actually knocked out with him on the couch, but then I woke up and I brought him to the bassinet. I always stand there for a few minutes to make sure he's really asleep before I get myself into bed and then I have to get up again. But I finally got some sleep just for a couple hours because this little man decided to wake up two hours later. By this point, it was Faku's turn to take care of him. Faku was still on the couch and knocked out at this point, so obviously I was closer and I just went ahead and brought him to him. Faku ended up doing another diaper change and another feed with him. And that completes the 24 hours. This is just me getting some sleep as the sun comes up. I hope this video was helpful to anybody who watched. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.